Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to record broadcast quality audio using just your iPhone. Now, the iPhone is pretty cool. It comes with its own audio recording app as standard. It's called Voice Memos, um, and it looks like this. No doubt you have all already seen this. Um, I would recommend not using this. It's fine, but it's just a little too basic for what we need. We need something with a bit more functionality. And luckily, there is a free app that has far more functionality, and it's called Voice Record Pro. It's the best free app that I have personally found for recording audio. So how do you get that? As usual, just click on the App Store, type in Voice Record Pro. Now, there's so many apps with very similar names, so make sure you type in all of Voice Record Pro. And then that's what you're looking for, this app here. Click Open or Download. And then this is the app. Uh, it's pretty basic. Um, normally the home screen will probably look like this. It will have all your audio recordings in a list. Press record for a new recording and also it's got some ads flicking through on the bottom of the screen. If you want to turn off the ads, you need to upgrade the app. It only costs a few dollars um, and it's probably quite worthwhile. Um, before you go ahead and start recording any audio, whether it's your own voice or an interview situation, you need to make sure that your phone can't receive calls because, or SMSs or WhatsApp messages or anything like that uh, because it could disrupt the recording of the audio. So make sure you go into settings and turn airplane mode on. Very, very, very important point before you go out into the field and start recording audio. So with airplane mode on, Go back into Voice Record Pro, and then you can click Record to start a new recording. Now, the next screen you're going to get is this screen, which basically is telling you the audio quality of the recording you're about to do. Um, you have these different presets, low, medium, and high. Unfortunately, high is still not high enough for the quality that we need. So. What I would like you to do instead is click on Advanced up the top, and then you get given all these options to increase the quality of your recording. And don't worry, you don't have to go through this every single time. Just do it once, it will, the app will remember your settings, and then it will continue to use those settings the next time. So please just follow what I'm about to say. Um, firstly, we have to select our file type. Um, you have the choice between MP4, MP3, and WAV. Now, WAV is a lossless format, and that's the one you should be selecting. It's the highest quality. So select WAV, and then the sample rate should be increased to 44,100. Bit depth should be increased to 16. Now, that gives us an estimated file size of 10.6 megabytes a minute, which is a lot. Um, and maybe your phone doesn't have enough space to actually handle that. So because we're only in recording voice here, we can actually drop this from a stereo, which is two channel, to a mono, which is one channel, and it will be fine. And look what it's done. Now we're only recording at 5.3 megabits a minute, which is uh, probably far more achievable on a lot of people's phones. So there's the settings I'd like you to use. WAV, 44,100, 16 bit, mono, silence detection, off, Great, and then just click record again. Then you're presented with this recording screen. Um, now, you have a levels monitor, an input gain on your microphone, a place where you can put in notes if you want, pause button, stop button, and of course, more of those flicking ads. Um, the most important part of all this is the levels monitor up the top. Basically, you're looking at this indicator and you don't want that indicator to hit the red. If it's hitting the red, it means your microphone is too sensitive and you need to reduce the gain all the way down so the levels are no longer peaking. If that indicator hits the red, your audio will be distorted. However, you don't want it too soft either. You probably want this indicator to be definitely at least hitting three, probably just above it. So you can also raise the gain until you get it to a point where it's about right. Once you finish the recording, you can click stop, and then it gives you the file size, the duration, and then all these options about what to do with it. There's a lot of uh, customization that you can do with these audio recordings. 
First thing you might want to do is click up the top and give it a file name. Um, you might be happy with the date and time, but you can also get more creative. Next thing you can do is scroll down and you can do some editing. Very basic editing, but you can do editing. Click on Advanced Edit and it will give you the audio file in a WAV, WAV format. And probably the only thing that you'd want to do here is to delete certain parts or to isolate certain parts. And the way you do that is you click this button up there, it gives you this tool and you can select certain sections to isolate. Say you were looking for a grab for radio on the fly. To isolate that, click on the button again. It gives you the option to either keep the selected area or delete the selected area. So I'm going to keep it, click save. You can either overwrite your original recording or save it as a new recording, which I will do. Cool. And after you've played around with editing, what you're probably want to, going to want to do is get that audio file onto your computer. Now, there's lots of ways you can do that. You can save it, you can email it if it's small enough, you can save it to Dropbox or Google Drive, but there's a really neat system here on this app called Wi-Fi Download. Um, to use that or to use the email or anything else, firstly, you're obviously going to have to turn off airplane mode so we can get back onto our internet network. Now second important, probably obvious, but very important point, if you're starting to email or uh, download really large audio files, you're not going to want to do that on your mobile data plan. You're going to want to wait until you're at university or home where you can connect to a Wi-Fi network. Otherwise it will just chew up your entire phone contract. So you click on Wi-Fi download and what's going to happen is it's starting a web server and giving you an address, a web address. Now the address is all in numbers, but if you type that into a computer, you're going to be able to download your file. And that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so the next step is just log into a computer, open up any internet browser, and you type in that address with the numbers that appears on your phone screen from the app. Um, hopefully making sure that you get all the numbers correct. Try that. And then it will take you to this Voice Record Pro page. You can see all your recordings um, and download them. So I'll just download this one for instance. Save file, okay. And then that will be in your downloads folder. It's that simple. And then you can open these files uh, in your editing software of choice or in iTunes or however you want to go about it after that. Pretty easy. Okay, the final important point about recording audio with your phone is to know where the microphone is on the phone. Now, the microphone on all phones is going to be on the bottom. Why is that? Because when you're engaged in an actual phone call, it's recording your voice down here. Which means that when you're doing an interview with somebody, you don't hold the phone like you normally would, you flip it around so the microphone is close to their mouth. Where do you position it? I'd recommend you position it just underneath their mouth uh, because if you have it right up against their mouth, you're going to get distortion because they're too close. Don't have it too far away though because then you won't be getting good audio quality. So just position the microphone underneath the mouth and, and you should be fine.